before, but very excited to have him here this evening. You guys make a lot of noise right now for Andy Feds, baby. Come on, Andy. diversity pamphlet there. We got like three black people. I feel like, I feel like the African American club in the college. <laughs> hey, um, y'all can clap for this if you don't. It's a hate crime. Uh, like I said, my name is Andy Fez, and I'm the first ever uh, comedian that is open about his HIV diagnosis. <laughs> so, with that, fuck with me, ladies. Kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. My wife's right there. She'll be jazzed. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I, I was born, you know, with HIV, you know, and like growing up, there was like it, it wasn't a lot of things I can relate to. Uh, being HIV positive, like we never had things like Sesame Street characters who were HIV positive, or like Se <laughs> or, or, or president uh, that was HIV positive. So it wasn't like until the late '90s, early 2000s, I finally found something I could relate to. Y'all remember Destiny's Child? Pills, pills, pills. Don't act like y'all don't remember that shit. Can you take my pills? Can you take my morning pills? That was my shit back then, boy. <laughs> Man. Um, another thing, too, like, I love how, like, when I tell people that I'm HIV positive, I get this awkward silence, like, now. Like, uh, mommy just got hit by daddy at the family barbecue. <laughs> like, I, I tell people all the time I'm HIV positive, and, like, it's no fear in that anymore because of, like, it's 2019 now, and we got so much, so much, like, research on it, things like that. It doesn't sound scary at all. Like I tell people all the time, hey, I'm HIV positive. There's no fear there at all. There's no fear. Now, other other diseases sound a lot more terrifying, don't you think? Like chlamydia, syphilis, herpes, gonorrhea. I don't know about y'all, but like, don't those sound like rejecting names of Pokemon characters? <laughs> Like, imagine you walk into your kid's room and all of a sudden you hear, All right! I caught chlamydia! It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> Man, like, I tell people, you know, uh, people ask me all the time, why are you so open about telling people that you're HIV positive? Because, like, in the past, I was pressed, I'll admit. And, like, you gotta find people to, you know, you gotta find ways to make yourself happy, you gotta surround yourself with happy people. Am I right? Am I right? Right? Right. I remember in high school, I used to have this guy, uh, one of my friends, uh, his name was Baba Tunde. He was African. And you can tell Baba Tune did shit, because he used to come to school happy as shit. Like he'll come to school, my mother died, my father died in my native country, like everybody knows. Like, what? <laughs> shit. I remember in high school, um, like, I, I used to get bullied in high school, you know? Because, like, for whatever reason, people assumed that because I wore glasses, like, I was the smart kid in class, even though I bought, back, I bought home bad, bad grades. Like, and I'll tell you, like, it, it's 2019, you can't always assume somebody just by their appearance. Like, I'll give you an example. What are my glasses? Oh, he's smart. He's studious. He should mentor my kids. Without child molester. <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Um, growing up, like, I, I didn't see myself be a, a stand-up comedian, you know? I, uh, for real, I really wanted to be like a pro wrestler. But my grandma didn't want me to be because I was HIV positive. You know, back in the day, they used to bleed a lot. And so, like, I, I was upset because she said, no, you can't be a pro wrestler. And I had, like, all these ideas of how I wanted to be as a pro wrestler. I was going to call myself the virus. <laughs> <laughs> And like y'all know how like wrestlers they always have like these uh these theme songs that they used to come out to. Um I was gonna come out to uh Big Shines, I don't fuck with you. That was easy. Um and also uh like I I I imagine like after I win every match, I was gonna uh uh have like the most post epic uh post match uh, epic post match celebration. Uh, I was gonna reach under the ring and uh, grab my bazooka cannon and uh, squirt KY jelly at the crowd like uh, Jericho <laughs> at a uh, uh, children's museum. <laughs> um, me and my wife, we're, we're, we're new um, to Vegas times. We've been here for about a year. Uh, I was born and raised in a scary part of Chicago, known as Chicago. <laughs> and like, I was, um, I, was, I was trying to you know, experiment with all the, the West Coast uh, restaurants. I still haven't found any restaurant that I 
really love. Um, I still I still got love for like Panda Express. Anybody like Panda Express? Yeah. yeah like I remember somebody told me, oh, Panda Express is nothing but the McDonald's of uh, uh, Chinese food. I'm like, fuck you, ain't no one lie, Spider Man. Panda Express is amazing. Every time when you go into Panda Express, they act like they never had a single customer in their life of existence. Have you ever went into a Panda Express? They got a disco bell coming down. Everybody's going cartwheels. They give you a free trip to Bermuda. They, you rent, they let you rent cars, hotel beer, everything. And then like everybody knows, like the end of uh, the, the end of the line at Panda Express, they always ask you a question of morality. They always ask you. Can you donate 30 cents to a fat baby circumcision? Or some shit. <laughs> and then you like, you gotta think about it. You're like, oh man, it was so nice. They gave me a free trip to Bermuda, a key to the city. All right, fuck it, sure, I'll take it. And then like, have you ever been? Like, when you give 30 cents to Band Express, they go crazy. They go crazy. Like they go, ah, oh, thank you. And then you got the you want cartwheels again, disco balls going out. They got the mariachi band from Door the Explorer coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You walk out with Panda Express and the Lifetime Achievement Award. Hey guys, that's my time. Thank you guys. Uh, follow me at Andy Pants on social media.